We have two daily doubles and tougher material. Better luck to all of you. Let's begin double jeopardy. Five more, please. <coughs> now we've got 36,000 total points available, plus those two daily doubles. Here come the category. Sociology. Ooh, looks yes. like we're back in school. Top 40 duets. I'll give the lyrics to a, to a duet. You name the duet. Oh, yes. Yeah, Civil War. I learned it on WikiHow. New Testament. And finally, before and after. An example of which would be Preparation H.L. Mencken. <laughs> Third goes first. Connors, let's play. <laughs> we begin double jeopardy with this. Nicknamed Cheese Boss on a Raft, it battled the Merrimack March 9, 1862. Jack. What is the monitor? Yes, that was, was the Iron Clad was by Sophomore Project. I do. This is war. The, the shots fired from this garrison started the war. No casualties resulted. Jack. Yes, and you're on the plus side and in the lead. In addition to his march through Georgia, he also marched through the Carolinas in 1865. Jack? William Tecumseh Sherman, yes. The war from 69. Answer. Answer. Here is Jimmy McGuire of the Clue Crew with the Clue. Watch. This admiral uttered the line, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. David Farragut. Back to you, Jack. Uh, it's a war for In February 1861, six southern states founded the Confederate States of America and elected him president. Julie. No. Jack. <laughs> yes. 4,000 points swing. <laughs> Your words. The answer there is, in 1979, this country put a one-child limit on couples. Now a one-son or two-child policy is enforced. Jack. What is China? Yes. Sociology is great. It's the ism based on self-interest, profit, and free competition. Karl Marx wasn't thrilled with it. Jack. capitalism. Yes. Playwright Israel Zangwill dubbed the ethnic mix of New York City around 1900 one of these, Roaring and Bubbling. A melting pot. Back to you, Jack. Sociology for 60s. Sci-fi author who came up in the 1950s with Dianetics. The modern source of mental health. L. Ron Hubbard. Back to you, Jack. In 1899, theory of this class, Thorstein Veblen coined the term conspicuous consumption. The leisure class. Jack, let's go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about the top 40? For how much? 400. And you're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Olivia Newton John and John Travolta sang that. Remember, we're looking for the duet. Back to you, Jack. Ebony and I we live together in perfect harmony, side by side on my piano keyboard. Oh Lord, why don't we? Jack. Uh, Paul McCartney and Michael Jack. No. <laughs> Connor or Julie? Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. I'm going to Back to you, Jack. Five for twelve, I Answer. Well, I don't know if all that's true, because you got me, and baby, I got you. Jack. Who's signing share? Yes. <laughs> 1600. You don't sing me love.
love songs. You don't bring me flowers anymore. Or Barbara Streisand and Neil Diamond. Jack, let's back, go back to you. Yeah, to Answer. Love lift us up where we belong, where the eagles cry on a mountain high. Okay. Jennifer Warnes and Joe Cocker. That was a tough one. Let's go somewhere else, Jack. Uh, New the answer is, it's the first book of the New Testament and the first of the four gospels. the New Testament, Julie. After his resurrection, Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Jack. Yes. In Galatians, he wrote, Bear one another's burdens, and so you will fulfill the law of Christ. Julie? 
Answer. Pope who may lose a finger or toe to a bitter cold condition after stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Connor. Here is your final Jeopardy category. 